Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda. Today, that pot has sent me an indoor smart light to try out. I already have a lead pot hydroponic system that I am really loving. Well, now I am trying out their grow light. And it is a smart light that you can uh, get the app and you can use the app to uh, set up your timer and the brightness of your, of your light. This is how it looks. I'm really enjoying the lead pot hydroponic system. I have some plants that have started growing on the lead pot. I have even taken out some of the plants that have grown on the, in the lead pot. I took out the borage and I took out a tomato plant. You can either set it up to be a hanging light or you can set it up to be a, to be on a stand. Uh, all of the parts. And this is the base. Okay, so I have all the parts out. This is the grow light panel. Right here is the folding stand. This is the button controller. This is the AC adapter cord and you would plug this part into here like that. And then you have some stand tools and these, you have to put these together. And these are your, this is what is going to make your stand. And we're gonna go ahead and connect those. And this is your stand base. You will screw this into the base. Okay, so this is how it ends up looking with the base once you have screwed the stand into the, the stand tube, into the stand base. This is what it will end up looking like. And it also contains a hook and some lanyards that you can use to hang your light if you decide to hang it up. We're gonna go ahead and get it put together and I'm gonna demonstrate how I will be using mine. This is how we will be connecting my folding stand to my bar. You put it on and then you just tighten. And this is gonna be a nice height. It's very sturdy. See, it is, it is tall. But I am loving this already because it's a nice height. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and connect my grow light panel. Okay, next it has a little cap that you remove and you put over this little silver ball and then you're gonna connect your light panel. You just push it over the ball and once it is over the ball, then you're gonna take your cap and screw it on. And this is what it's going to hold. This is gonna hold your panel light onto your, your bar. Then you plug in your button controller 
to the back of the panel. And it has some little holes in here. And you'll see where it fits right here. And just match up the holes on the button controller to the prongs on the back of the of the grow light panel. And you and then you connect your adapter cord. And the adapter cord goes right here next to the button controller. Okay, y'all, we're ready to plug it in. I'm gonna turn it around so y'all can see when I plug it in and turn it on. It is plugged in. Now I go to my controller to turn on the power. It is powerful. And now it is bright. This light is bright. I am loving this already. My plants can't wait. Let's go in here and take it to my plants. Okay, so this is where I have decided that I am going to put my LED pot LED grow light. I, th I thought I wanted them to be over these cabbages, but because I am so excited to see what this light can do, I am going to start with a plant that I have not had underneath the grow light yet. I'm going to put some plants that are just germinating underneath here, but I'm going to make sure that I get them up close enough to this light because, as you know, when you first put your plants underneath the light, you need to put them right up on the light. So these are some freshly germinated Napa cabbages that I'm going to be placing underneath this light. Okay, you all, so you can see that I have this LED pot grow light connected and hanging directly above these Napa cabbages. And the Napa cabbages are just starting to germinate. And I have this light very close to it. Because I can't lower it down some more. I just wanted to put it right here where you all will be able to see it but I can bring this light down even more. I can bring it down lower. So that's what I, I like about it, that it is able to swivel and pivot to all of these different angles so that it can get to wherever you need it for your plants. And it is a smart grow light, so you can connect it to the Wi-Fi and you can connect it to the app and set it to have your the timer time the brightness and the uh, amount of time that you want these lights to run and this is what the controls look like you can set it for your vegetables you could uh set the timer for the amount of hours that you want you can put it on the amount of brightness that you want. You can set it for the amount of brightness that you want on your plants. And you can also turn on the Wi-Fi. Okay, right now my plants are growing so good in the, my LED pot. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this cilantro out because it has grown a lot. And I am going to pot it in this pot right here. So what I'm going to do is just take it out of this little cone. I'll be very gentle with my plant. Let's see if I can untangle my roots. Y'all look at how long these roots are. And pull out my sponge and I'm going to make a well down in here to stick these roots in. Now if these roots were in a pot, they would probably, you know, would have wrapped around, but by them being in this lead pot, they have just grown straight down. In Okay, so now we have our cilantro planted. I'm going to go ahead and give it some water. I'm 
And now I have another sponge that I'm going to insert into this cone. I'm going to plant a tiny Tim tomato in this sponge. I'm just going to put two tiny seeds in here. I'm going to drop this. I'm going to go ahead and put this cover around the top. I'm going to drop this back into the water. I'm going to lower my light. I planted strawberries and some uh, stevia in these two compartments. So I just recently planted those two, so they haven't germinated yet. But all my other plants are looking very good. And this is a La Sonata kale here that I am going to have to go ahead and up pot also. Let's take that La Sonata kale out. Okay, I got me a tiny pot for the La Sonata kale. And the La Sonata kale will be going outside to get hardened off after it stayed into in the house for a few days it'll go outside to get hardened off to get planted out into the garden since it is a cool weather crop it is a, a brassica and this is what the roots are looking like on it make a well in here and just insert my roots in my Okay, and this is our La Sonata Kale. Leeks are something else that, in my opinion, are slow to germinate. So I'm just going to drop a couple seeds. into my sponge. Put them into my cone. And place them back into the water. This borage and this brass atomic grape tomato were both grown in my lead pot hydroponic system. I'm going to put my plastic dome covers over both of those until they have germinated and then I will remove those covers from them. Then I'm just going to lower my light. And let my lead pot go to work. If you are interested in either of these products, either in the lead pot hydroponics growing system or the lead pot grow light, Go ahead and check them out in the description box. And remember that you can stack those discounts for a limited time this month up to 33% off with the added 5% on each one of these. So I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video today and that you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.